Hello YouTube, just want to make a quick video showing you how to purify over-the-counter hardware store grade sulfuric acid into something a little nicer looking, uh, cleaner. Basically, you start with a solution. It was actually a bit lighter than this, it got darker as it heated. I actually also started with 100 milliliters on the dot so that I can tell roughly um, when all of the peroxide is gone but basically the peroxide is going to decompose into water and oxygen and the water will boil off as you continue to heat it leaving you back with a concentrated solution of a, of a clear acid instead of a nasty looking black stuff like this. Might add right now that all work should be performed in a fume hood or outside. Um, as you can see, when you heat sulfuric acid enough, it starts to fume. Those are actually acid fumes, and you don't want to be breathing those. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. You can do it with straight off the counter, well, 35% uh, hydrogen peroxide. Now, this is a lot more water in it. I'm going to be making a video on how to purify 35% peroxide. Not everybody will be able to do it, unfortunately. It's almost like freezing 3% to try to get something a little more concentrated. You're probably left with 35% after you freeze 3% and uh, take the unfrozen solution. I will be freezing in 35% with liquid nitrogen or something along those lines and I will be left with hopefully 65 or 70 percent which I have already done I don't know the concentration but I have it labeled high test peroxide because it's over 35 percent I know high test is considered like 90 percent but I'm estimating that this is around 50 percent hydrogen peroxide at least um, when dealing with peroxide, that 35% stuff will bleach your skin. When you concentrate the concentrated peroxide, um, it'll really, really burn your skin. Basically what you want to do is heat up the sulfuric acid. Right now it is at 200 degrees Celsius, roughly. So what I'm going to do is take about two and a half milliliters, if we use it all. I'm just going to rest this on the side of the beaker and slowly add it. You don't want to add it very fast because this is cold peroxide into a, a heated liquid that is over the boiling point of water, kind of like oil water spilling into an oil bath it will splatter everywhere you don't want that to happen as you add the peroxide you can see it lightens the solution so with two and a half milliliters added to a hundred milliliters and I'd say half of it boiled off instantly. As you can see, the solution has already gone from a black to a clear yellow. Another 2.5 milliliters here. And I'll crank up the speed here for a second. And put the cap back on my peroxide. I do not want to spill this stuff. Now you'll have to trust me here with this because unfortunately I can't edit these videos yet so they're all being recorded real time as it goes. Once you get to this nice almost clear color, 
and you see it's bubbling like that, it's fuming away. Um, heat the solution further and it will go a little bit clearer. If it does not, if it starts to get darker, add a bit more peroxide and you just kind of have to play with it and then boil it off as much as you possibly can to get the concentration back up. When you're left, you'll be with, left with something that's damn near clear and little to no peroxide left in the solution. Uh, I will be performing tests on this in the future to determine its actual percentage. Um, but for now, I'm just going to call it what I think it is because <laughs> I'd rather somebody pick it up and say holy crap than say yeah, whatever, if you know what I mean. But I will be performing tests on that to see the concentration and I will test the before sample as well to determine the concentration of that and see if we've lost concentration or gained concentration from boiling off excess water and we'll do some other tests maybe a peroxide test to see if there's any peroxide left in it if I can find a way to do that um, but yeah that's it for now let me know what you think and again if you're going to do this do it in a fume hood or outdoors Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.